Hello students, how are you all? I hope you all are fine. Today we will see standard 7th and subject science in that chapter number 14. Chapter name is electric current and its effect. In the previous two video, we have seen up to main uh, 6 in the part 2. Today we will see part 3 in that main 7. Explain giving scientific reasons to marks each. Question is that fuse is kept in the electric circuit of a house answer is sometimes there is a possibility of over increasing strength of electric current which may causes damage to electric device electrical device due to the fuse kept in a circuit when current exists the safe limit it quickly melts and hence the electric circuit becomes an open circuit as a result electric current entering the house stops entering the house stops thus electrical device and electric circuit are saved from any damage so the fuse is kept in the electric circuit see the main eight write a short note on fuse four marks answer is see first of all see the diagram of fuse it's a electrical fuse position of the fuse is there now see here fused wire is there now a position b position it's a metal pin here it's connected metal pins and here it's the holder of proslin now see answer fuse is kept in the electric circuit in the house the main fuse is generally kept beside the electric meter a piece of thin wire of special type of material alloy of tin and lead is tied put in the holder made up of proslin such as such that it joins part A and B. See, this is the wire and it joins A and B. The fuse wire is such that it melts easily. When the current flowing through a circuit exits, the safe limit, the fuse blows off and breaks the circuit. This is called as the fuse off or blown off. Due to blown off, cir electric circuit becomes open. Now see the next page. So, the electric current stops flowing in the electrical device and thereby they are prevented from any damage. Incidence of fire also stops. In case of blown off fuse, new wire can be tied and the fuse again starts working. Now see the activities. To make a circuit diagram of an electric circuit, see the figure is there. Here you have to draw the figure. In this case, you have to draw the figure. Now, see the question number two. To observe the heating effect of electric current by using nichrome wire. See, here it's the thermocal sheet. Here, wire used is the nichrome wire and here is the nail. And here, this is, is the electric cell is connected. And here is the key. Now, see, apparatus and materials. A piece of nichrome and alloy wire, electric cell electric switch two nails a piece of thermocal sheet procedure take about 10 cm long piece of nichrome wire and tie it between the two nails fix the nails at some distance on the sheet of thermocal make an electric circuit as shown in the figure by connecting the two nails to an electric cell through a switch using connecting copper wires touch the wire when the switch is in off position now turn the switch on and pass the electric current through the circuit. After a few seconds, touch the wire. Switch off the current. Touch the wire again after a few minutes. See the observation. The nichrome wire remains at room temperature when the switch is off. The wire gets hot when the switch is on. Conclusion is that when electric current flows through a wire, a part of electrical energy gets converted into heat energy and hence the wire gets hot. This is heating effect of electric current. Question number 3. To make an electromagnet from a given iron nail. See here is the iron nail is there. See apparatus and materials, iron nail insulated wire electric cell electric switch and small pins procedure take around 75 cm long piece of insulated flexible wire see this one is the flexible wire here is the electric cell here is the electric switch and here is the nail here coil is rubbed 
and small pins an iron nail stay about say about 6 to 10 cm long we wind the wire tightly around the nail see here here you have to wind the wire in the form of a coil connect free ends of the wire to the terminals of a cell through a switch as shown in the figure place some pins on or near the end of the nail now switch on the current what happens do the pins cling to the tip of the nail switch off the current are the pins still clinging to the end of the nail you have to observe it now see the observation the coil of a wire behaves like a magnet when electric current flows through it as a result the small pins cling to the end of the nail when electric current is switched off the coil generally loses its magnetism and so the small pins fall off the nail now see the conclusion when electric current flows through the coil of an insulated copper wire wound around the soft iron nail it behaves like a magnet such coils are called electromagnets here your chapter is completed and we will see the next chapter in the next video stay safe stay healthy okay bye